Hello everyone, this is Mugundan Raghavan and today we are going to see how to handle the test environments in Catalan Studio. The first question might be, why do we need multiple test environments? And second question, if we have the multiple test environments, what would be the impact for the testers? And third one, if you really have the impacts, how do you handle by using the profiles from the Catalan Studio? Let's go to the first question. Let me ask the question to the chat GPT and the answer was very simple. You might be having the development environment, integration environment, SIT or system integration environment, pre-prod environment, performance testing environment like that. Based on the project, you might have that different environments. However, each environment has its own purpose. For instance, development environment to test the code for the developers, whereas integration environment to test the integration capabilities from the other systems or from other application to our application. Performance testing environment may be having the more resources to test the performance capability of our application. Likewise, every environment will have its own purpose. Next question would be, what would be the impact for the testers? If you have the multiple environments, that means you have the multiple URLs, multiple credentials, multiple test data, which cannot be same. In that case, if you write one test case with hot coded value, that means that either you need to repeat the test case to have the different environment testing or you need to update the test case each and every time when you switch between the different environments. This is very cumbersome and repeated work. So that's the reason in Catalan Studio, we have the profiles. By using the profiles, by using only one test case, we can test multiple environments. How to do that? Let's go to the Catalan Studio. In Catalan Studio, you will be having the folder or level kind of profiles where you will be having the default profiles. Let's go to the sample application to understand more. So this is a Swat Labs. This is a SaaSDemo.com where you have the multiple users. We will try to mimic the same scenario here. Imagine standard user for environment one, locked out user for the environment two. We will try to create the two environments, but using the same test case, we can execute. How to do that? Let's go to the Catalan Studio. For simplicity purpose, I just recorded the same website for the login scenario. Let me just remove this and it will be by default, it will be the standard user. So let's go here and instead of this, let me put it into the original way. Standard underscore user. So normally when you record it, you will be giving the standard user, which is one of the user here and you will be recording. Let's save this and execute as a normal way. And here you can see the drop down value. You can see only the profile of default. And if you open the default, it does not have anything. So we just record it and play back. So the standard user value will be entered because we have given the standard user as a hot coded value. Let's imagine you want to create the two environments for the two different people. Execution profile, let's say env1, enter. And in that, let me add. So this will be the username and value will be standard user. Click OK and replicate the same. Just copy and under the profile again, replicate. So here again, you can add it, username. And here we will take the next user. Let's take the locked out user and give the value like locked out user. Fine, now we have the two environments. Let me rename properly. So this should be the environment two. Or in your case, it can be SAT or UAT or pre-prod, whatever might be. So for example, we will make it as environment one and environment two. Let's go to the test case two. And rather than hard coding here, you might have guessed already because you have seen. So rather than mentioning string, you will be selecting the global variable. So global variable will be referring to the profiles. Now if you click here and you can see only one global variable, click on username and okay. So again, one more time, username, yes. Global variable dot username. So you can refer any profile values by using the global variable dot then the variable name. Now in the dropdown, 
you can see environment one and environment two, which means that whatever we created profiles, it's reflecting here. Let's go to the environment one, which should be using the standard user. Let's execute. So it should be using the standard user. Yes. Now go to the drop down again, change the environment to, and make sure you just click on the run button. This time it should be using the second user, locked out user. Yes. So we are good. So that means that you can use the profiles rather than changing the test cases or creating the multiple test cases. By using the profile values, you can just rerun the test cases on the different environments. Here we have tested only for the username, but it's not limited to only the username. It can be the URL, it can be the drop down value, it can be the credentials, it can be anything. Whichever configured or related to the any environment, those things can be added under the environment profiles. So this is all about this video. We have seen how to use the profiles to handle the multiple test environments rather than replicating the test case or updating the test case. So thanks for watching and have a great day.